door instant properties. While we're putting in a door, or after a door has been inserted in, we can select a door. I'm going to select this door right here. And it's over here, it's a single raised panel with side lights. It's basically our front door here. And if I want to change the door instance, just this one time where it's this instance, I can change things here. For example, I can come down here and change it's on a second floor, not the first floor. The sill height, how much it raises up. Uh, the construction frame type, the materials and finishes. So in the frame, I can come in here and sometimes you'll get choices pre-made for you and sometimes you can just type them in. I'll come in here and say it's wood. And the, the finished, I'll say it's varnish. Okay, and, var and now once you put a, uh, an item in there, it'll be in for the others once I hit apply. Uh, so it'll put it in a list for other ones. Comments. Well, it's my front door. So I'm just going to say front door. So everybody knows what door we're talking about here in the comments. And it's a new construction. The header height is 7 foot, etc. I can hit apply. And now all this information travels for... Uh, this will be applied to the door schedule and for the quality takeoff and um, so contractors can get all this information in in its database etc so these instances here this is the door instant properties uh, and this is a one time if I go and click on say another door now you know this particular door does not have the front door listed on here. I can say, you know, this is kitchen door or whatever in, in this comments. So, you know, and I can choose the finish on it. It's painted white or something like that. Um, so we can change the door instance properties here, which is totally different than changing the family type, which is up here at edit type. So all these are for the one-time instance.